if you just cut the ball in half with your thumb and middle finger, I don't care, you know, find the seams anywhere you like, but cut the baseball in half with your thumb and middle finger. Let the other fingers and thumb just rest accordingly. And if your palm stays toward home plate, that's a fastball. If you go a full on karate chop, that's a curveball. If you turn your palm completely out, completely pronated, that'll be your circle change or your screwball. And then the stuff in between, I'll move my screen a little bit here. So fastball, curveball, half of a fastball, probably half of a curveball is a slider. Go back to fastball, it goes fastball, cutter, slider, slurve, curve. And if you'll just keep that angle, people don't realize when I first got into the game, they thought curveballs hurt the arm. They, they literally thought curveballs hurt the arm. But with the testing with modus, modus sleeve and EMG, thrown properly, a curveball is the easiest pitch on your arm. Think about pounding a nail with a hammer. What position? And think about carpenters pounding nails all day long. That is actually the strongest position for your wrist, your forearm, and your hands to be in. Just I'm gonna ask you, put your, I'm left handed, you're right, and put your left hand out in front of you, like this. And just pound your hand as hard as you can. There's no stress on the elbow. Now here's where the kids get in trouble. Try spinning and pounding. And that's where you tear your elbow up. So if I'm telling a youngster to throw a curveball, I have him cut it in half with whatever where he wants to be on the seam, bury it, squeeze it as hard as he can, and just karate chop it into release point. And he can't hurt his elbow. And everybody's talking about spin rate right now. Spin rate is the, the magic word. Um, what pitch do you think spins the most between release point and home plate? Curveball or a fastball? Curveball. What pitch spins the least? change up why you're and, and this is me i'm thinking if you're pronated with that change up that we were just talking about there's no way you can spin the ball as fast as if you're on the inside ripping it you'd down be surprised like this and this both of them have faster spin rates than a fastball does your change up has a faster spin rate if you throw it right okay wow. and it, and if everybody's talking about, remember how they tell you to put it, you know, they, they put it in the last three fingers of your hand. Yep. All right. What would happen if you actually squeeze the bejesus out of it and turn your palm out? Your right-handed changeup would be a left-hander's curveball and vice versa. Wow. Tell me what I just said. Tell me what I just said so I didn't screw that up. Your right-handed changeup, if you squeeze it and throw it, like we were talking about before with it on the side, if you squeeze it and throw it like that, it's a left-handed slider. Or a right hand. A, you're yeah, right no, you got it. A, a, slider. You're exactly right. The spin rate would be the same. Think of it. They tell you to have arm speed on a change yet, but if you're holding on to it with your ring finger and your little finger, you can't put spin on it. But if you grab the bejesus out of it, turn your palm out, and deliver it with arm speed, number one, you can't hurt your arm. And number two, it increases spin rate. So a lot of the stuff, and I don't blame any coaches, but what happens over the course of 50 years of coaching, your eyes lie to you. What you think your eyes see aren't really happening. And that's where our, you know, we have 800 plus, almost 900 major league pitchers in the computer at 1,000 frames a second. And we see the bell curve on what the great ones do.